Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And this is a very, very, very important week for the Indiana, Indian Hoosiers for two reasons. One, we are going up against a conference foe in Ohio State Top 25 school. But also, we have a gang of recruits coming to visit our school this week. Let's just look at who's coming. So our top recruit, Josh Fleming, we are in second with this guy. But look, he's 99% locked. So if we have a big visit, and it's like, say it's a thousand point visit, we could possibly sneak past this this Syracuse at the top and get to the 100% lock and he might commit to our school on the spot. So we we have a lot at stake. Remember, Josh Fleming is a five star number four athlete in the country. Look at him. He is a beast, 80 catch, 84 route running, 89 speed, 92 excel. He can play, it looks like he can play quarterback, looks like he can play running back, looks like he can play, maybe not running back as much, but it looks like he can play receiver, quarterback, running back. I don't I don't know what exactly, but, and then we have, let's just go down the line here. So we have our top guard, uh, Will Campbell. He's coming this week as well. And as you can see, we're 360 back from this guy. I think we can gain the lead on this guy because we're the last ones to get the visit out of all the schools. Calvin Bonner, another free safety. He might be the replacement for Crawford, Jonathan Crawford in our secondary. Dave Ferguson, another guy. Uh, he actually came last week. He, we got some pretty good points out of him because, look, we took the lead on South Carolina for him. Uh, Darius Alford. Let's see. Is he coming this week? Uh, no, he's not. So he's not coming this week, but he's a guy that's at the top of our board. Quinn Richardson, who's only a 69 overall tackle. But if I redshirt him and he gained some pretty good skills, he could become something because if you look at his ratings here, 77 pass block, 76 run block. So if I redshirt him, get him good, uh, he can possibly get started down the road. Uh, Martel Causey, he's not coming. But another DN, Johnny Pratt, only 67 overall. I'm not in jeopardy of losing this guy, but it's still, I mean, he's coming. I got a ton of recruits coming. Kenny Mitchell, another tackle who's crucial, man. I need these tackles because my offensive line is getting old. Uh, as you can see, Sean Mitchell was a guy that we just added. We do have quite a few points here. Let's just look at the people who did commit. Richard Simmons, the athlete. Uh, let's see what he looks like. It looks like he's 90 speed, 89 excel, uh, 71 catch. It looks like he's going to be uh, some sort of receiver. Uh, it looks like he does have some uh, tackling skills as well, as well as some cover skills a little bit. Ronnie Hicks, a QB, which we definitely need. We need another QB. Because we were hurting. Remember that week when uh, Ramsey went down, Ward went down, and uh, we had to resort to our third string quarterback, John Jackson, who I'm excited about, man. This guy looks like he's going to make moves right away. He looks like a receiver. Definitely. He's definitely a receiver. Um, he does have some defensive skills, but I'm definitely going to use this guy receiver. 75 catch, 82 route running, 90 speed. Uh, he might be taking over uh, for Walter. I mean, not Walter. He might be taking over for Simi Cobbs. Walter Gonzalez is next. This guy is a monster. 76 overall as a freshman receiver. He's going to be a beast. And Nick Collins, the guy who we truly needed, he's probably going to start day one at defense event i'm excited because if you notice i haven't got any sacks my last three four games i think i, th I haven't got any sacks so it's been crazy i've been having to play crazy defense in the secondary but man let's just get into this gameplay we are going up against a powerhouse in the ohio state so let's just hop into this man they're ranked, I believe, number 25. Let's see. They're ranked. Uh, oh, they're not even ranked anymore. So they did lose their last game. Let's see who they lost to. Uh, I believe I saw it. So they lost to Penn State. So Penn State's 8-2. and two. So let's just hop into this. We know it's not going to be easy, but let's just get into it. Let's go. So this is definitely a new look Ohio State uh, football team. As you can see, Burrow is at quarterback, but it's different because... When's the last time he's seen a pocket passer? And as you can see, 
it's not starting out great for him. Throwing a pick on the first possession. That one's to Marcelino Ball. And he's been balling out of his mind the last three, four games. I mean, he has been killing, and so has Simi Cobbs. But like I was saying, Ohio State, when's the last time you've seen them have a pocket passer? Honestly, I mean, I don't think I remember it. I mean, Terrell Pryor. But as you can see, we're giving up the fumble. We get the turnover and give it right back. Baby Bosa forces that one, Nick Bosa. So, uh, But we do get in for the sack there. And like I was saying, man, JT Barrett, Terrell Pryor, Braxton Miller. I mean, we've always seen scrambling quarterbacks at Ohio State. This time we get a pocket passer. So they're probably going to be running a kind of a different offense without that option. They look like a totally different team. And as you can see, this offense isn't working out for them early in this game. Uh, giving the ball back to us twice here on their first two possessions. Not really moving the ball. But here getting the ball to Wilson and making the corner just absolutely freeze. Look at that move that he puts on him. Freezes him up. Gets up to the five-yard line. And Devontae Williams finishes off the drive. Getting in for the six-yard touchdown run. Devontae Williams. Adding some more touchdowns to his Heisman resume. He might be still in it. There's still hope. We're seven in the nation. They obviously go by some sort of team success. So right now, he's I think he's third or fourth on the list. Maybe he can jump some spots with a big game here. We do have a bunch of recruits coming. So we got to put on a good showing for them this week. But as you can see, Peyton Ramsey throwing to Simi Cobbs. Simi Cobbs cannot drag the feet on that one see his foot i challenged it lost that challenge so i lost the timeout so third and 11 marcus rutledge guarding hill across the middle but that's going to get completed by burrow and on a first and 10 a minute left in this first quarter he's finding barry on the out route but as you can see they threw a bubble screen to dobbins that time and i timed it right just didn't jump in front of the ball to get the pick. I was actually behind the receiver on that one. But they capitalized, continue to move the ball that time to Hill. So Burrow on a third and nine is going to drop back, throw to Dobbins, but he can't handle that pass. So they do settle for the field goal. So it's 7-3 to three early on in this game to start the second quarter. And Devontae Williams just getting swamped there uh on the handoff but on the third and eight i see semi cobs wide open in the flat nobody how can you not guard our best receiver on that one but it's all right i'll take it all day so on a first and ten ramsey's gonna roll out right slide up into the 40 yard line but on a first and ten throwing a semi cobs i should have put a better juke move on him than that one but on a third and nine attempt to throw deep and that one's almost picked off Remember last game, I threw a pick on a lob. That time, I remembered it. I was like, man, I got to throw a bullet this time. And that time, Bruh. it was too short. So, I don't know if I can find a happy medium with Ramsey throwing deep. I think he just literally can't. I mean, I haven't thrown like, a lot of deep passes in this dynasty with him as quarterback. And it's kind of, you know, prohibited me from being as good as I can because it takes away that dynamic. So, anyway, our defense back on the field. Uh, we take over after stopping them on a third down. Uh, now we're getting Baby Gronk involved down the field to about the 50-yard line. So two minutes left almost in this second quarter. Finding Timmy in this time, our slot receiver, for a nice 16-yard gain. So on a triple option on third down, we give the ball to Devontae Williams, but we're too close to this first down to not go for it. And on this fourth down, we get hung up running into the lineman. And what a play by their linebacker there. That's actually their slot corner getting in for the tackle, and we turn the ball over. So they take over in their own territory, giving the ball to Dobbins, getting smacked on that one. But on a third and four, almost a minute left in this half, Burrow's going to drop back, throw to the outside receiver McLaren for the nine-yard reception and the first down. So it stops the clock. So they continue to, uh, in this hurry-up offense, under one minute now, first and ten, we give up a deep pattern touchdown to Austin Mack. That was a fly route, and that time I usually have help over the top. I took it away that time, and, and right when I took it away, I was thinking about it. 
Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Back to the field. Getting him on skates here. Look at number four. He cannot handle the moves. Straight breaks his ankles. And Michael Wilson making plays. But as you can see, we had a guy wide open downfield on that one. But the pass rush gets to us before we can get rid of it. And th we're trying to get some points on before half. So now it's five seconds left. We're just going to throw it deep here. But Simi Cobbs is going to come up with it. And he gets tackled on the one-yard line. So we go into half. Tied up 10-10. That was one yard close of a Hail Mary touchdown before half. We don't convert. So... At this point in this game, man, we're just trying to put some drives together because it's been kind of sloppy up to this point. It's a 10-10 game. I feel like we should be up way more than what we are because this Ohio State offense is not impressive at all. We are not capitalizing on bad play calling. I mean, they, they actually have routes that they're getting open because their athletes are just better than ours right now. But besides that, I mean, their play calling, we're stopping them on D. Uh, besides these timing routes that they have, we're doing pretty good. So uh, Dixon is going to get found over the middle uh, by Burrow. So he's going to continue to move the ball. Maybe I spoke too soon there. But on a first and 10, almost at midfield, he's going to find his receiver on the out route. And uh, Burrow isn't too bad. He started out slow, but he definitely recovered now. He's starting to move the ball towards the middle of the third quarter. And on a first and 10, finding McLaren. Almost to the 15-yard line. So Burrow doing a hell of a job at quarterback. And who needs a who needs a scramble quarterback when you got him? Because he's finding his guys open, and they eventually capitalize on a nice long drive. Dobbins gets in for the touchdown. So we're down seven points, man. We're down seven points at home. And these last couple games, I mean, we had we had Michigan uh, last week. Ohio State this week, and we're going up against these top defenses, these top offenses. So we're finding ourselves in holes in these games. And as you can see, it's kind of realistic. I mean, I like this because it's it's keeping us, uh, you know, disciplined. I mean, we're not doing anything stupid. We're not gonna try to throw the ball every play. We're not gonna try to run the ball every play. We have to switch. We have to switch it up. I mean, these defenses are tough. So as you can see, on a second and seven, towards the end of the third quarter, Rams is gonna have an open lane. For the end zone, for the touchdown, and Peyton Ramsey always a threat to run the ball. But like I said, his weakness is just throwing the ball down the field. He just doesn't have very good arm strength. And at times, he can be a bit erratic. I mean, he he can be inaccurate at times. But, you know, you got to use his legs. I mean, you got to take advantage of what he can do best. So we do force the punt here at the end of the fourth. I mean, at the beginning of the fourth quarter. So we take over giving the ball to Devontae Williams because we know at the end of the day who's our main man is Devontae Williams. He is just a threat. And I'm telling you, he's just one of those guys that he doesn't need the overall. He doesn't need the great great attributes. I mean, he just plays better than what he's rated as. And as you can see, Ramsey's going to break to the outside, get around the edge, get tackled at the one-yard line. What's up with their guys tackling our guys at the one-yard line? <laughs> in this game once again and Devontae Williams caps off that drive with the handoff up the middle so now there's five and a half minutes left in this game Burrow is gonna try to drive down the field but Rutledge comes up with the big hit before the first down and that one's actually gonna hurt Dobbins there on that one so they have to punt the ball and we take over here four and a half minutes left a nine-yard rush by Devontae Williams, but what do we do? I forgot that they even had Denzel Ward. I thought he was going pro, but he shows up when it matters most, and that was just a hell of a great play. I thought I had that red on the curl route, and that's the thing. With this game, the curl route is a little bit overpowering, but if you go up against an elite corner like Denzel Ward, he will make you pay, and as you can see, Marcelino Ball, Almost has his second pick of the game on that screen pass. But on a third and ten, Burrow's going to drop back very deep. But as you can see, I switched to the corner. I tried to line up, tried to strafe with the ball. And I actually stop and allow the receiver to catch the ball. So this is just a sloppy 
all around game. I am letting them back in this game, giving them every opportunity they can get. So we take over. It's 24 24, a minute and a half left at the midfield strike. And who do we give it to? Our man, Devontae Williams. But you know what? I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to be super smart about this. Give the ball off to Devontae Williams so I get to the five yard line. So I'm like, hmm, should I score? No, I shouldn't. I should kneel the ball, wait for the last second field goal. So that's exactly what I do. Easy chip shot. And we go on to win this game by three points. And Ohio State goes down. They're coming into our territory. And like I said, we are beating these teams at home. Devontae wins with a huge game. 190 yards on 25 carries. We were feeding the beast this game for sure. Wilson goes over 100 yards. Simi Cobbs actually gets close to 100 yards. 86 yards receiving for Simi Cobbs. And, man, I cannot stress enough of how much Marcelino Ball is just balling out. I mean, this guy is balling. I mean, every every game he's balling. And him and Crawford, just the perfect uh, one-two punch to our secondary. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, man. We're coming back for the next episode. We got a couple more games wrapped up before uh, getting to this Big Ten Championship. We got to wrap up these next couple games and solidify our spot in that game. So let's get it.